okay? Uh, of course, uh, I'll tell you two things. One is not a secret, and the second one is a secret, okay? Number one, Genesis 18 is used by Trinitarians sometimes because it says three men came to Abraham and said, see, it's the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. We win, all right? Um, but uh, so that's number one. Uh, I, but I think uh, in general terms, when you're reading the Bible, okay, um, there's two levels to what you're reading. One is the event itself, okay? And the second level is the person writing about the event. Are you with me? Uh, Jesus is uh, healing the sick, or Jesus is saying, um, if anyone thirsts, let him come to me and drink, you know. Uh, and then the person that's writing about it says, this he said, speaking about the Holy Spirit. So you see what happened there? One thing is what Jesus is doing. The other thing is what the writer is explaining to us, Okay. And of course, both are inspired equally by God. Whoever wrote, in this case, the, the Gospel of John, is inspired of the Holy Spirit to tell us that when Jesus talked about, if anyone is thirsty, come to me, and I will give them to drink. And he's saying, he was talking about the Holy Spirit. Okay? So that's what I call uh, uh, a Bible commentary, a, an inspired Bible commentary. Okay? because it tells us already what the answer is. Um, in this case, uh, chapter 18, verse one in Genesis, and the Lord appeared, okay? So this is whoever is writing, okay, is telling us already the answer, okay? Who appeared? The Lord, and, and uh, sister was right when I actually did a look up on that. The original word in the Hebrew is the tetragrammaton, Y-H-W-H or yod he vav uh, So it's the holy name of God. So if you're using a King James, New King James, it's going to be all caps or, or small caps, okay? So it's Yahweh. Yahweh appeared to, um, to Abraham. Uh, I think what gives us a little bit of pause is uh, it's three men, okay? So if it's only one God, why is three men. But then when you go to verse 16, it tells you that the men set out from there uh, and they looked down towards Sodom, okay? Uh, let me see. Okay, verse 22, that, that will give us the answer um, that we need. Verse 22, so the men turned from there and went towards Sodom. So the men actually went to Sodom, but Abraham still stood before the Lord. Are you with me? So, men, plural, more than one, probably two because there were only three. So two went to Sodom, one stayed with Abraham. Who is that one? Abraham still stood before the Lord. All right, and that Lord, again, it's probably gonna be Yod he bav he, y h w h. So that's the answer. Okay, the text itself is telling us what's going on. Yes, the Lord appeared to Abraham, but he came with two angels. Then the angels went to Sodom, and Abraham stood, stayed behind with the Lord. All right, and that's why from there on, they're this, these men uh, they act like angels. They do angel, <laughs> angel things. They're messengers of God. You know, the Lord is going to destroy the city, leave the city. And so they're talking on behalf of the Lord. But this one that's right here, this man, okay, this one is the Lord himself. 